I'm Dave Fitzsimmons, and with me today is His Honor, uh, the Mayor of uh, Tucson. Sawa Tucson. Oro, Tucson. Tucson. Uh, mayor uh, Jonathan Rothschild, and uh, I draw every guest, so please hold it for. What do you think, huh? Fantastic likeness. I, I like it. You gave me a little extra hair, and. That was kind of you, Fitz. Big mistake, because you're my guest, I'm going to hammer you. But first, because <laughs> you are the mayor, and this is my premier uh, web video, uh -huh. I would be so delighted if you would cut the ribbon. So we are cutting the ribbon uh, for the premiere of The Fitz Show. That is correct, well, sir. It would be my, my pleasure. Um, Speed it up, will you? <laughs> on the count of three? Count of three. Give me that. Yeah, one, two, three. The other way. Three, two, one. Fantastic! We are here. So I know it's in today's uh, Arizona Daily Star. You made it below the fold. That's about the best idea. Yeah, is. apparently Mexico is quite pleased with you and awarded you the uh, Otley Medal. They did. And what's that for? It is for uh, showing friendship with Mexico and showing support for international relations. That's impressive. Is the Otley Medal, does that confer upon you a uh, Mayan god status? There is a uh, Mayan... Don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just host a study session over that question. We will, we will. Yeah. Uh, top of the fold, uh, yes. jokes on us. Yes. Uh, Arizona, apparently, uh, is often the butt of jokes. But, you know, there was recently a survey uh, found that uh, Tucson is the, one of the ten least funny cities in America. Uh, what are you doing to make Tucson funnier? Well, I saw that, and I was quite disturbed by it. I think a lot of that's on you, Fitz. It is. Uh, you are, I took it personally. You are our leading uh, satirist in this community. All right. Uh, but I think if we could incentivize uh, in the city limits for some more comedy clubs, I think we could do better. That's an outstanding idea. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to confess right now, I did not ride a bike here this morning. I did not uh, take a bus here this morning. Uh, I would have I would have taken the streetcar, but it's not finished, is it? It's not even rolling, is it? Fitz, July 25th? Yeah. Just a few short months from now, another big ribbon cutting for the streetcar. We are the city of Tucson. We chose the hottest day of the year to roll it out. Fantastic. And that is funny. <laughs> well, we're, we're working to get up that list. All right, uh, let's talk about the budget. <laughs> That's uh, really you're, not you're not, you are it. you are not happy with the budget process. Uh, what's what's not to like? You know what's mainly not to like, Fitz? Hmm. We don't have enough money. Well, uh, you're a Rothschild. Aren't you related <laughs> to one of the barons of Austria? Your dad's a bankruptcy <laughs> lawyer, isn't he? He can help out. The, he represents people generally that don't have money. Well, well we got a sales tax. We have a uh, we have a bed tax, right? How about a, a pillow tax? <laughs> I'm open to all ideas, but what I found fits is that most people mm -hmm. don't like to be taxed more. I, I don't know why that huh. is. Well. Uh, so what we need to do is find ways to get more businesses into the city because that will create more revenue without raising taxes. You know, I'm kind of a fan. You sound like a capitalist. Um, you know, the more I've been on this job, uh, the more I understand that the more money everybody has in their pocket, mm -hmm. the better off we all are. Whew, you're a pretty radical guy here. <laughs> uh, let me quote you. Uh, you said, uh, as far as the budget process, uh -huh. because if the wolf is not at the door today, let me assure you, it has not left the neighborhood. Aren't wolves a problem for Arizona Game and Fish? <laughs> uh, maybe I need to contact Arizona Game and Fish mm -hmm. and see what they can do about getting that wolf out of the neighborhood. You know, our, our cameraman here listens to talk radio, and uh, okay. when, when the city voted to increase the uh, business license fee for 33%, uh, he wants to know if that was to pay for the uh, we're business friendly skywriting promotions over <laughs> well, during air shows. Well, Fitz, I, I, I've got to say that sometimes the things you hear on talk radio yeah. might not be the truth. Just, just, a, just an idea. Well, that's why you're never on, huh? <laughs> I guess not. All well, right. Well, well just, so, just so you know, the proposal is to increase when you go for your first business license to take that fee from $45 to $50. $5, Fitz. Oh, that can destroy a business. Especially if it's starting out. Because if, if you don't have that extra $5... 
Right. You may not be able to get into business. Oh, man, you are cold. <laughs> now, uh, the, uh, the vote, the final vote for the budget is uh, June 3rd? Um, hopefully May 22nd. But May 22nd. It could, it could be June 3rd. Uh, when you show up to uh, convene one of those meetings, uh -huh. do you feel like uh, Russell Crowe and Gladiator <laughs> entering the arena? Uh, we do often say before we head down the elevator, it's showtime. Uh, jobs. Yeah. You are opposed to Rosemont Mine. Where do copper letters come from? <laughs> uh, hmm? May I answer the question? Hmm? We don't have copper letters anymore. You know why? Why not? We why not? We can't afford them. You can't afford copper letters. But we do have proclamations. Yes. They're yeah. done on paper. Why are you opposed to Rosemont? Well, First of all, let's be clear. I am not opposed to mining at all. I think mining is one of the great things we do in this uh, uh, region. But with regard to Rosemont, there are a whole number of issues with regard to water safety, uh, air, mm -hmm. and the like. And what I have said from the beginning is you have to comply with the law. Mm -hmm.